You see, this guy was actually working at a center for people going through a crisis. And he decided to engage in conduct that was explicit and criminal against another minor. Let's keep his picture up. I want people to remember this face. 32 year old Tampa man has been arrested after he sent explicit material to a teenager after speaking to her when she called the crisis center hotline. He was working as a specialist at the damn crisis center. You gotta understand the the depth of his evil here, okay? His name is Lara Quinta Cato, right? He was arrested and booked into the Hillsborough Jail, faces charges of transmission of harmful material to a minor and unlawful use of a two-way communications device. He's being held only on a $4,000 bond, $4,000. He had been working at the crisis center for two months. Luckily, the police were able to determine it was Lara Quinta Cato as intervention specialist at the crisis center used different names to protect their privacy and confidentiality per policy. He was also a volunteer as a worship leader for the church, okay? So this guy has two positions of public trust, right? Crisis hotline worker and church, okay? He has affixed himself to have access to young people that would readily trust him. There's more. According to the Tampa Bay Times, the girl called the crisis center of Tampa Bay's 211 hotline. That was around 9.30 a.m. on March 28th and left her contact information so that a specialist could call her back, all right? Soon after that, a man called the teen and introduced himself as William in an intervention um, as an intervention specialist at the crisis center. They spoke for more than an hour on a recorded line, deputy said. Within an hour, he called the girl again, this time from a restricted number. He told the teen he was calling to check on her according to the release. After multiple follow-ups, he got the teen's Instagram username, okay? Followed her and started sending her direct messages. I got more. Deputies say he began to send explicit photos and videos to the teen and asked the teen to send naked photos of herself to him, a request she denied. The next day at school, this young girl reported what happened to a school resource deputy. That deputy did the right thing. A subpoena to search the cell phone of this alleged predator confirmed the teen's account 100%. When he was questioned, he confessed. In a statement to the Times sent Thursday night, the crisis center said that Lara Quinta Cato had passed both his local law enforcement and level two background checks before he was hired. As soon as the crisis center confirmed the inappropriate telephonic contact, the employee was immediately terminated for violating policies. Uh, so now the crisis center is going to review their policies and procedures to make sure this doesn't happen again. But once again, let's dissect what the statement really is about. The statement is about protecting the crisis center, okay? So, so that's the primary emphasis of their statement. What about protecting those that he may have victimized during his two months under your employment? What about them? What about those individuals? What words do you have for them? What procedures have you set up for those potential victims of his predatory crimes. You see, when we highlight things like this and we put the emphasis on the wrong thing and we don't question it, we are allowing the rape culture to permeate. We are allowing the rape culture to continue. We have to challenge these narratives and hold organizations. It's the damn crisis center. If the crisis center won't get the release, the press release right, who will? This is simple, you hired a bad guy. Your language should be readily affixed on how many victims he may have at that center, connected to that hotline, connected to that center. 
Um, things like this boil my blood. Put his picture up again, okay? You're looking at a person who literally went through a job application process to do exactly what he got caught doing. He just needed that opening. Damn, taking advantage of children who are in crisis. Wise thoughts. Yeah, this this brother is 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 pretty sick and demented to be honest. Um, that he would target those who have been, you know, in very adverse situations. Like it's just it's just a horrible instinct to ha- to have to see somebody who's in their weakest moment and feel like that's the exact time that you need to take advantage of them. And like you said, I would hope that the crisis center puts. Better safeguards in place and explains to the people who are coming to them for help what the normal course of action would be. And if anybody reaches out to you or anything like outside of the context of what we're doing in here is BS and you need not pay it any mind. Um, This is just horrible, but I'm happy he got caught. Yeah, all right.